Hello and welcome for today's 10 minute full body workout. No equipment needed. I hope you're feeling good and fit and that you're ready to get your whole body worked in just 10 minutes. Today, again, we will do 10 rounds. Each round is one minute. Get ready. We're going to start in a couple seconds. And today we will start with horse stance. Horse stance is just like 90 degree angle, low stand. We will do low squat. I'm going to show it later to you. We will do plank. Then two rounds of bridge for a back end, also for the legs. Then we will do roll ups, it's like a sit up, but better. Then we're gonna do dips on the floor. I'm gonna show you how. Then we will do L sit to work our abs even better. And we will do fingers where we just open and close the hands as quickly as we can. And we're gonna do fully open, fully close. And we will finish it off with, you guessed it, one more round of horse stands. So get ready. Now we're going to start in a couple seconds. So let's go. Wide stance. Oh, 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 oh. Wide stance. And drop low. 90 degrees. In your knees. Push your knees towards your toes. So open the knees. Straight back, raise your core, tuck your chin, raise your arms to the sky, put your hands up in the air, put your hands up in the air, and keep working. Yes, stay stable, arms out, palms facing up, uh, and enjoy the power of your legs, of your body. Try to work as much as you can with your glutes arms forward so it's your glutes working hard working over time not your quads try to activate your glutes actively consciously sending good energy towards your glutes now low squat feet flat straight back that's actually meant to be a relaxing position right so you just raise your arms if you can so raising the arms, make sure that your upper body is in an upright position. So squat is a relaxing position, as I said. Uh, look, before pants were in, invented, you would not like to sit in the woods or in the snow with your bare butt and all of your weaponry hanging out, you know, your tools freezing on the floor. So you would squat down, you would squat low. I could tell you many stories about squatting. It's very healthy for your ankles, for your knees, for your lower back, and also for your digestive system. So squat. You don't need to raise your arms, right? You're raising your arms just now to work our body a bit. Now we're gonna plank, bam, pum. Activate your abdominals and relax. So the relaxing, okay, this is not as much as a, a relaxing position as the low squat, but try to relax your mind to activate the body even better and keep smiling and enjoy the energy flowing through your body. Enjoy the strength being activated, your muscles being activated. Firmly hold that inner attitude of enjoyment the joy of how you use your body how you make yourself stronger how you overcome the will to stop you are your own worst enemy and best friend and you gotta work 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 on oh, nice, a bridge we will do two minutes of bridge so lay on your back Tuck the back of your head, feet close and up and enjoy the upside down world. If you want to, you can place your hands right next to your head. Now what you are, are trying to do is expand your chest, extend your chest, open your chest, press your head down to the floor. Uh, if you, if you need to, you can go back to your shoulder plates. You should not feel any pain or discomfort in your neck. 
You can also use your hands to stabilize, right? You can shrug your shoulders closer towards the base of your skull to be more stable. And once you master this position, one more round, you try to use your lower back and your hip to stay up, not your quads. My quads are very relaxed at the moment. So I'm pushing my feet down and pulling them towards my head. I pull my head and my feet closer to each other. So it's all my posterior muscle chain. My anterior muscle chain is relaxed at the moment. That's the trick. And I enjoy it upside down world. I just imagine being a bridge, stable, immovable and very relaxed. I imagine hanging upside down on the ceiling, here on this ceiling. And I could go on like this forever. Usually we do three minutes in class, but two minutes is just fine, especially for beginners on our roll up. So I promise something better than sit up. So roll up is just you roll one vertebrae after the other, slowly and keep that good tension in your core. So when you go down, no further than until your scapula touches when you go up, never lose the tension in your abs. So it's mostly about the lower half of your spine. So you need to push your lower back kinda into the floor to get moving. Don't use momentum, don't jump, don't swing. Just slowly rock back and forth only by use of force. Ah. Now floor dips. So you just raise your butt. Now you should already feel your lower, your upper back, excuse me, activated. And if you can, drop a bit and raise. Drop and raise your chest, drop your back, raise your chest, drop your back, raise your chest, drop back, raise the chest and push down, deplete your shoulder plates, push your shoulder plates down towards the floor, your shoulders down and then let your upper body go down a bit, just a bit, right, until we touch and then up, raise your chest, tuck your chin, Raise your core, raise your chest, extend it, fully extend and expand your chest. Mm, it's good for posture, of course. <laughs> Dips a little, I'll sit and relaxing. Relaxing position, your feet are just off the floor, just like this. My old Kung Fu teacher told me when I, was, when I was a kid, I was like 10 years old, and he was like, yeah, that's how we watch the TV. And uh, well, I totally, I totally believed him. I was like, wow, that's absolutely crazy. And he was like, yeah, and when we need to break, he's doing this. And I was like, ah, that, that makes sense, right? It makes sense. And uh, well, by the way, that's how I watch TV as well. Uh, and I'm a fan of long movies, so how you get good at but not really I watch TV like uh, hang like so so but what what's actually true is that's how girls dry when they when they paint their toenails that's how they dry them like so fingers so you can sit or stand open and close bam, 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 bam. make sure to open up all the way and close all the way to a fist and make sure to only use your fingers do not bend your arms nor move nothing like blah 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 and not pache pache open up all the way firmly and well emphasized um, 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 um. Well, well pronounced movement, right? 
So really concentrate on the whole range of motion of your fingers and then on speed, right? Good movement, good motion, and then keep going. And now it's horse stands. Everybody's favorite exercise, either it's horse stands or probably squat. I don't know. I love both of them. Pull your knees out, knees point towards your toes, thigh horizontally, and let's raise your arms. Raising the arms, make sure that your spine is in the correct position, especially your upper spine. So pull your arms back behind your ears. Your arms shouldn't be like this, should be like this. So your arms should be in balance. There's no pressure at all in your delts. It's all in the muscles of your scapula. Well, and of course, a, a tiny bit in your legs, right? Arms outside, palm up. Smile. Crap. And good, we're done. Ooh -wee. Relax, shake it off. That was easy. That was a cool and fun workout. You did great, fabulous. <sighs> Breathe the air of victory. Wow, you did great. If you're still here, awesome. That's champion stuff. If you stopped halfway through, you won't hear it, but still I'm very proud of you. You did great. Do as much as you can. Not as much as you think you should be able to be. As much as you actually can. Great job. See you tomorrow.